Foley made it very um, uh, seamless and, uh, you know, made us feel comfortable very quickly and, and just had his own take on it, you know, and wanted to put his own stamp on it while also honouring what Sam had done with the first movie. So, um, you know, I thought he handled it really well. Dakota's an incredible actress. I mean, that's that goes without being said. She is just a professional, you know, um, as silly as she can be, and she can be very silly. Um, she just has a great way of navigating through every sort of area that, that, that Anna's put through, and the humour of it, and the heartache of it, and the, the, the sort of the um, incredulousness of it, and, and just struggled to understand Christian. and. Um, I thought she just played all of those beats with such ease, you know, it just comes easy to her, you know, she's a very naturally gifted actor. Anna just takes them on this journey of like self-discovery, you know, from the moment they meet. And he's got so much to learn about being normal and responding in a rational manner to daily events and to relationships and to other people and dealing with jealousy and everything. So he's never really the perfect, perfect package, you know, and he's always, always uh, needing work. And I think that doesn't really end when they get married. I mean, she, he, he definitely becomes a better version of himself, but he, he still has this thing where he's battling with control. What sets the Fifty Shades trilogy apart is that audiences believe the relationship they believe, the romance they believe, the love of Christian and Anna. There's thousands of books that are BDSM related love stories and um, none of them have come near to having the impact that, that, that Erica's books have had. So there must be something very real at the core of all that and um, very sort of essential and meaningful and uh, relatable. And uh, that all stems from, from this this genuine love and that's what's more romantic than that you know and um yeah i think that's what's resonated with people for me personally i see it from christian's point of view in terms of um the love that anna has had for him and the the, the truthfulness of their relationship has freed him from the everything that's very laid out that we see of his um you know his broken self and and learning to Free yourself up and accept who you are and and the things you've done wrong and and to and to adapt and change and be a better better person by the end of it. Hey, don't close out. Stay with me because I have a really cool movie fact. Did you know the Hollywood star who played the most leading roles in feature films was John Wayne, who appeared in 153 movies? Now, you don't always have to have the leading role to make records, as the star with the most screen credits is John Carradine, who has been in over 230 movies. And I've been in... Uh... Anyway, are you a John Wayne fan? What's your favorite movie with the actor? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Bye-bye.